Hello, it's Ali. Welcome to Skill Addiction. In today's video, we will be continuing working on my 3D printed 8 scale Toyota Supra. And we have some upgraded parts. I have the belt here, which I damaged in the previous video. We have a new clutch, which I removed my clutch, the manual one, and we will put that centrifugal one. And I have this drive shaft here, which was the previous one. And I put this sleeve here, and this dog bone comes with the clutch. So we don't need two joints here. So I put this 3d printed sleeve here so it will be stationary here and only moves from here and i also fixed it the drive shaft line angle it's not going to be stiff anymore so the drive shaft not going to be connected from here anymore which is supposed to be with the gear and meshed up with this one but i made this shaft which is 3d printed and it will be bolted on like this and the angle will be like this not going to be stiff anymore it is a 3D printed one, but I already sent it to PCBWay to be 3D printed with a metal. This video is sponsored by PCBWay. Think about PCBWay as all-in-one platform for CNC machining, 3D printing, sheet metal fabrication, and injection molding. If you are working on a custom design like me and you want to have highest 3D print quality, this is the way to go. You just have to upload the STL file here, choose the material, and it will tell you the price and shipping days. PCBWay's link in the video description box below for more information. Thanks to PCBWay for sponsoring this video. Next upgrade we have, I made a 3D printed straight pipe. It will be connected from the exhaust manifold to the back. And I 3D printed with pad CF which is a heat resistant material by Bamboo Lab. So some of you have been asking me about this servo for pulling and pushing the throttle. It's not that realistic to be here. And I was thinking to move it but I don't have that much space because we still have to do electronics. And then after that I will figure out where I put it because I already designed the dashboard as well. So maybe I will put it in the dashboard and make a line or put a cable just like I did with the brake so another problem i faced it because i didn't put the gear here and it will be connected right on the shaft it will reverse the rotation so i'm gonna have to reverse it on the diff again and that is an easy fix i just have to remove the tank and then change the gear and that is it so that's what we're gonna be doing today and then put all the electronics and start again and yes i already removed the panel to work on the car and it's easier like this i also 3d printed the engine mount again with the same material that i 3d printed the chassis so now we won't have any problem with the heat because with the PLA it was getting softened up and the engine was moving but now not gonna happen again so in order to install the clutches on the flywheel with the backing plate it comes with these studs and these studs can be bolted on the flywheel and if we bolt it on at the back there is nothing stopping it and yeah it's broken and i think the reason it's broken because of the manual clutch i had and pushed too hard that's why i hope not gonna be problem with the balance but yeah here's the stud and nothing there's stopping it so i don't have any loctite with me so far so what i will do i will install these bolts it's the same size and it will be bolted on like this and it will be something to hold on and tighten up okay it's secured now now we can put the backing plate and the clutch will be installed like this. So that's what I'm going to be doing.
all right the engine is in and all bolted on and also the clutch as well and the drive shaft now i'll do the differential and change the gear direction and then we will install the straight pipe from the 3d printed metal exhaust to the back the tip is resin printed and i didn't bother to print it with heat resistant material because by the time it goes there it will cools down Alright, the exhaust and the diff all done. Now I'm gonna do the electronic and also organizing all these wires. I connected the starter motor wire and bring it here and split it here. Only the ground is connected fully with the battery and the positive one is disconnected and I will install this relay switch. So whenever we need to start up, we will use one of the channels on the radio and start it up with this. So I will connect this one here and with this one, it's usually normally open and normally closed. And this is the common, so I will use these two and put it somewhere here or here, but we'll see. And for starting up switch, I will use this one because I have throttle here and this will be starting up so I can turn it off right after the engine starts up. So yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. All right, it's all done and connected to the receiver as well. Now I'm gonna power it up and try it out. Okay, here's the starter. It's reverse, I have to change the wires and then we will be good to go. All right, we are kind of done. I also connected the throttle, which I 3D printed. It was a rod, but now it's, I think it's way better because it's black and it will be matching with the engine. But I did some temporary things like the fuel tank, I put it there. I'm not gonna be using this fuel tank for now because I have that much fuel. So it's better to use this one temporary and not this one. And I'm also waiting for the transparent one that will be 3D printed by PCB Way, which they are the sponsor of this video. So I did another adjustment with that, but it will be a bit temporary because I have to figure out where I have to put it. So with these nitro engines, when the metal is burned, the oil has to go somewhere and usually it comes out and make a mess so I put a hose here and it will come to this tank which I put it temporary and when the methanol is burned that oil will go there and not gonna make any mess so I'm thinking to put it somewhere and make a reservoir and it also be transparent so when it fills up I have to drain it but yeah that's what I did the hose goes back and connected there and the fuel tank is here it's way closer because i have less fuel and i have my batteries here so we're gonna connect all that and start it up We kind of successful with the clutch. I didn't get that much footage for you guys, but it's drivable and the clutch doing its job. I drive around here, but I wasn't filming. So that's a kind of bad because I didn't share it with you, but it's working good. But I have one problem. 
Now it finished the fuel very fast. It's leaking around the hair, around the head, and also the bottom. Because with the older chassis, I had the burned glow plugs, and I was trying to start it up, and it filled up the cylinder head with the nitro and caused that hydro locking and pushing that gasket now. But I have to tear the engine apart and clean that, maybe change some gaskets, and then put it back again. But overall everything looks good and also the chassis holding that temperature I didn't have any problem even the engine is hot now but it's not moving and the bottom chassis part not melting so that's a good thing and even this one you can see that much thin and it didn't burn or bend it's still just like how it is now if we remove the front bumper I can show you guys So if we look here, it's all nitro and all leaked out from the engine. I think it's from the, this gasket between the head and the cylinder, but I'll check it out. But I can see from here too, so I think it pushed the fuel from everywhere. But I will check it out and tear it apart and we can fix it. So the extra tank I put here, it cached all the oil and not made any mess in front of the engine, but except the leak we have but it's working now and it's very good. But for the next video, I will remove that. I'm not gonna put here, we will fill it up from here. I also forgot about this one. It's 3D printed and it didn't break, maybe because I used PLACF, that's why it hold up, but it's very good. But for the next video, we will have metal one and we won't have any problem with this. So for the next video, we will have the fuel tag and also the 3D printed metal gear and fix the engine and take it out for a test drive. I'm also working on designing for the engine mount for the four cylinder engine maybe put it on the Supra or the other chassis which will be Nissan Skyline R34 hope you guys enjoying the project as I do like and subscribe if you haven't already and I will see you in the next one bye for now